Rafa. Hi, Ivan. Rafa and Ivan, how are you guys? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Hey, how you feel, Rafa? I um, still feel. A little bit like. Yeah. But you but look I... much better than yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I feel better. Oh, I'm so happy. How was the, the papaya shake? Uh, it was good. It was delicious? I take another one. Yeah, I take you, another one. You, ready? you, you will A take or you ago. took it? I took it. You took. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You took on. another one. And that's really, that, that fruit is really, really miracle fruit. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm so happy that I can see you. And now I see you smiling. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> I love people. I love to see uh or to watch people laugh and smile. Because you know what? It's contagious, right? Like, yeah, right? you're right. Yeah. And if, uh, if somebody smiles because it's happy, right? Or exactly feel better. If right? you better, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm happy because when you're smiling, that makes me feel that you're feeling much better. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have Ale. Oh my God, I mean, I'm between men, you know? All right, I have Mr. Ale here. Juancito, the best, enjoys today's class, which is good. I have Michael and Mr. Ivan. Very good. Okay, well, Ale, you have changed her already. You're in a different part of your, of your house, right? Yeah, but I've been here before. Um, I'm in the living room. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, did, yeah. Did you did you paint the the walls or not? No, no, no not recently. <laughs> oh my god, uh, are you sure? But but maybe you were like in a different position. That could be. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, right. Ah, how you see? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, how was your day, Mr. Ale? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I just stayed home and and with my parents, watch movies, uh, football game, and. Football mm, game. Was, you watched the football game or you played it? No, I watched. I you watched it. it. Hey, uh, which groups were were you played? What, what were playing with? Oh, um, the Champions League. Oh, I don't um, know about it to be honest with you. I'm, not like, I'm lost. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It was like Champions League it was uh, I don't know England versus uh, it's in Germany. Germany. International. It's between, uh -huh. it's between uh, very uh, uh, European different. teams. Okay, European. thank you, Ivan. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Ivan is educating me right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, and the I don't know you. Uh, you prefer one team in particular? Mm, yeah, I am support uh, Real Madrid. <laughs> oh, Real Madrid. All righty. Yeah. Okay, Ivan, don't, do, not comment, please. Don't comment. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> maybe he is Barca. He's <laughs> like <Lemon>. maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe. All right. Very good. That's nice. And of course, studying. Yeah. Right. Studying a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I have to do homework and and stay in classes. Um, right. I know how it is. I used to be a student. No anymore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. No, oh, of course. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Well, you know what? Yes, I'm still a French student. I can say that. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yes, that's nice. I will continue learning that because I love languages by heart. You know what? I have an, uh, uh, one um, a student on the group before you that he's like learning at the same time Russian. Yeah, that's good. That seems like a, a yeah, I like I'm like oh, yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? And if you could look at him, he looks like I don't know. He's like a like a uh, a man that you don't think that he's doing that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he looks like so so nice, so calm guy, but he's really really smart. Yeah, yeah that's, cool. that's all. I'm I'm really glad to hear that. And people mm -hmm. love to study and to, and to learn. It's really nice. Yeah, you know what? Right. As a teacher, you're always learning. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, because you need to like constantly learn things, study, of course, to transmit the knowledge, right? In the right way. That's why yeah. I love being a teacher. 
right. Thank you so much, Ale, for sharing your day. Let me listen to Juancito. Juancito, where have you been? Juancito. Hi, Juancito. How are you? Juancito, the best. Hi, teacher. Hi. Where have you been? We missed you yesterday. What happened? Um, Tell us the truth. Yesterday, I, I was asleep. sick. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my yes. God. My bones, edges, yes. Oops, your which one? The entire body? A terrible oh, oh. cold. Oh, so you think yes. you're gonna get a cold? Yes. Oh, how do you feel today? Do you feel much better or no? Mm, a little bit. A little, little bit better. Yeah. Uh, did you take any but medication? I, I I didn't work today. Oh, because of that. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, hope, no, don't worry, okay? But I'm so happy that you're here. Yes. Yeah. I, Even though you don't feel a little bit well, but you're here. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm so happy every time that I see you. So that's okay, okay, Juancito. Hopefully you will feel much better. I will ask you yes. a lot, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty, thank you, Juancito. Let me listen to Mariana. Mariana, also, where have you been? Hi, teacher. Hi. I missed you yesterday. I missed you too. Uh -huh. Do you believe her, guys? Yes. <laughs> and she answered immediately, yes. Uh -huh. Because it's true. <laughs> uh, okay, what happened, Mariana? What happened oh, to you? I had too much work to do. Mm, got it, I understand. And I don't even notice when the time passed. And when I see the, the time, it's like, oh my God, this class is already finished. And <laughs> it's terrible. I know, I know that. Yeah, no, I understand. When you have a lot of work to do, you don't feel the time. You don't feel it. we like, oh my God, already passed one hour, already passed two hours. That had yeah. happens to me. Sometimes I even forget my lunch time <laughs> or my breaks. Me well, too. usually, we usually do not take breaks in the morning because I forget. I always forget all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So I understand. But the but did you guys for some reason uh, if that happens to you, like you miss a class for any reason for work for illness or for family situations, you can always guys go to the YouTube link and watch the class. Okay. Okay. I'm curious. Did you do that? Have you done that or no? No. No. Uh, but you have the link, or no? No. Yes, you should have it. Yeah. When when you receive like um, email notification before the model starts, you receive like an information there. Uh, so basically, there's supposed to be like the link right above the link of what the, the WhatsApp group. But I send it to you right now. Do you receive it, guys? Is it in the chat right now? It's in the chat. Yeah, we got it. You got it? Okay. So yeah, that, we got it. that is the link for the YouTube list for this class. Like I always upload it every night. I do not go to sleep until I have low uploaded, guys. Because I want you that next in next day in the morning, really early morning, at 1 a.m. for example, you already have that information on file. So anytime that you will need to review it for some reasons, you just click on that. And you can find it. Uh, I I try to put the um, the date of the video, and at the same time, it's day one, day two, day three, day four. Or for example, yesterday was day five, and I put it uh, March eight, two thousand twenty one, for example. Okay? okay. So I just I always try to title it that way. So in this case, you know which is the video that you miss, and you just click on it, and you will review it. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. No, thank you, Marinita. All right, let's listen to, hey, also, Gracia. Hi, Gracia, how are you? Hi, teacher, good night. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> yes, good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you here. How are your days going so far? Thank you. Um, My day was a very hard. I prepare, uh -huh. I, I prepare the report for the directive meeting to, to Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, this day and tomorrow, and tomorrow is the most, uh, the most uh, 
Difficult one? Hard days. Why? Difficult. Or, oh, because uh, uh, the, the meeting directive mm -hmm. is in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. I need to uh, prepare all reports for presentation uh, in the platform. The platform. In the platform uh, for the directives. Mm -hmm. uh, looked the the, the information okay the information for the credits in Guatemala mm -hmm. and approved the credits. Oof! Oh my God! You really and love all, numbers. Yes, all the all the weeks uh, I work very hard. Uh, uh, with a uh, Wednesday uh, mm -hmm. principal to prepare these reports. Wow, that's a lot of work to do, right? Oof. Especially yeah. because you have like a time frame, right? A timely timely filing. You know what timely filing is, guys? Timely filing? I know. I what time know. frame? Okay. I'm going to write it right now in the chat. Time frame. You can say time frame also also timely filing. Okay. This is two expression that you can use. For example, let's pretend that in your case, uh, Grecia, uh, they said, okay, hey, I need these reports by Friday, for example, but Friday. So you have a time frame. You have a specific period of time or a specific days, in this case, to finish your work, okay? You okay. have a time frame or, or timely okay. filing in this case, for example, you you have you say that you have to put all this information on the platform, right? So you have to okay. upload mm -hmm. that information. So you have a mm -hmm. you have to upload it or to put it in the SharePoint, whatever, before mm -hmm. Friday. So that is a timely filing as well. For example, guys, um, when uh, if you if you work, for example, or in a in a hospital, right, and you make like a service a service for for a person let's say a, a laboratory service all right yeah. and uh, for substance abuse for example and um, you send that information to the insurance company you can say uh, as a suiza or whoever okay and they ask you for medical records for example Me you know what medical records are like photograph and all the medical history of the person right so they said yeah. okay you have to send this information to us in order that we consider it and pay you for your service, okay? But timely filing on the time frame that you have will be 365 days from the day of service, okay? That is a time frame. The period of time that you have to do something, okay? Do you understand now? In this case, to send the medical records to the hospital, to the insurance. Do you understand now? Beatriz, Ivan, Rafael? Kind of. Kind of, Ivan, Beatriz? No? no. Time frame. Is el tiempo de duración, the time frame, el periodo oh. de tiempo that you must have to do something. Yeah, yeah. in my yeah. case, mm -hmm. the, the time frame is uh, three days in the week. Three days in the week. Okay, very good. To, mm -hmm. to Monday. Monday to Wednesday. Exactly. Very Monday, good. Monday or Monday, the pre committee. Yeah, the pre committee. The pre committee review the information and uh, and ask questions uh, about the about the all uh, the the all report. Ah, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. Uh, the general manager mm -hmm. uh, appro uh, proofs, um, proofs uh -huh. in the first instance. Uh -huh. The first instance. The first instance to prepare to uh, submit the information at uh, at the platform. The platform. The platform. That means, uh, guys, that Gracia said that. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. 
No, what, what Grace has said that she cannot upload any information or on the section of the platform that everybody can see it because first of all, the a manager or the, yes, or the supervisor needs to approve what she has done. Very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the case uh, don't, don't approve, she yeah. don't approve. In case that she don't approve, in case uh, she doesn't, she doesn't approve. She it? doesn't approve. Uh, the I I prepare more information for uh, for for um, answer the your your, your, your questions. Uh huh. And uh, finish this process around Wednesday or Wednesday, uh, almost. Wow. And uh, the Tuesday, the, peop the people in Guatemala, uh, the, direct the directors in Guatemala, review this information for the, the approve final, final uh, The final approve. The final approve and uh, uh, communicate to client uh, wow, the the credits. Oof. So it's really hard job, guys. Uh, yes. you, would you be interested in working uh, as Crescia? Uh uh. No. no. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> nah. Nah. Oops, Crescia. It's very stressful. <laughs> yes, they were listening. They were like, "Oh my God, yeah. poor girl, poor girl." Yeah. Yeah. My my. The the only day I think. Is very quietly. Mm -hmm. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday because the the committee, uh -huh. uh, the committee is with directors. Ah, I it's don't not with you. In the committee. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. God. My my mm. my job finish the Wednesday. Oh my God. This one is is uh, is on in the platform. Oh my God. Uh, you know, you know, when Beatriz is like, no, <laughs> never, <laughs> never. <laughs> Friday, uh, uh, start the new, the new, the new circle. Yes, I know. It's really hard. Yeah, you see. Mm -hmm. But but you like what you do. I work. Mm -hmm. Usually, I work in the in the in the week in the uh, Saturday and and Sunday in, in my home. Hey, can you imagine even working on Saturday? No way. No, Grecia. Oof. Okay, but you know what? We're going to use your example for today's topic. This is really interesting. Yeah, what she said. Yeah. If I say I love my work. Yes, I, yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, I, I think we can, everybody can feel it with the way that you express yourself. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing, Grecia. Okay, so guys. Yeah, do you remember? I know that you're really nice students. I know that for sure. If somebody remember <coughs> what we have seen yesterday, please one at a time, okay? One at a time. I know, I know everybody wants to participate, in, but hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. Personalities. Uh personality types, yes, we saw that exactly. Some of you were conventional, right? Social. Artistic. Artistic, yeah. Enterprising. Enterprising, exactly. Investigative. Investigative, uh huh. Investigative, social. Yeah. Realistic. Realistic, realistic yeah. Realistic, exactly. And after that, we'll start learning something else. Do you remember? Do you remember um, the time? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> when we started. <laughs> English class. Ah, you see, I am dead. And just my imagination. Uh huh. No. Oh. I forget Rafita because Rafita fell sick yesterday. But no Ali and no Ivan. Listening part. Um, uh huh. No, I don't. What? I don't remember. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bea, help him. Help him. What we have seen yesterday, or what we saw yesterday, besides personality types? Yes, um, uh, about the I know you have the it. You career, have it. 
career, uh, no. <laughs> uh, abilities. Uh -huh, abilities, yes. What else? For each, each, each uh, personality types. Uh -huh, personality types, yes. But we, yes, you're right. But we also saw something else that you don't remember, right? How many personalities <laughs> we have? Besides that, Mr. Rafa. Mm -hmm. Because we, we talk about six, of course. Can ah, you say no, something no, no. to to will um, uh, help you to understand today class? But I can't remember right now. <laughs> okay, okay, I will help you. <laughs> okay, you're really good. But today, guys, we're going to talk about gerunds, gerund phrases, gerund phrases. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, you see, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody's like, oh, right. We were close. <laughs> close, yeah, yes. Too close. Too close, <laughs> Too close my friends. Yeah, you're, you're right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I know, Mr. Rafa. And, and I was like, ah, okay. Yes, because, guys, most of the time, we have learned a one way to use gerunds, right? Well, first of all, I just want you to make a little bit refresh. And who can tell me what is a gerund? What is a gerund? Juancito? I don't know. It's uh, mm -hmm. use the ING. Very good. But, mm -hmm. but and, and burn of object. Very good, exactly, a verb. Very good, Juancito, a verb in the ing form. He's right. Can I have an example, Ali? Um, a verb in ing form. Of a verb only, verb, only verb in ing. That's all that I need. Drinking. Drinking, very good. Another example, Bea? Mm, taking. What, which one? Taking. Taking, very good, excellent. Rafa? Exciting. Exciting. A, no, exciting is not a verb. That is an adverb. Okay. Mm, so. Working, for example. Uh -huh. what, which one? Uh, Working, okay, run. very good. Yeah, running. Running, very good, excellent. Ivan? Sleeping. Uh -huh. I, that's just, that is what you most love to do, right? Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, very good. Miguelito, what about you? Driving. Driving, very good. Vane, what about you? Um, jumping. Jumping, excellent job. Sonia, what about you? Playing. Playing, excellent. Mariana? Swimming. Swimming, very good. And Grecia? Eating. Eating. And that's what we love to do, right? Eating. Eating pupusas. <laughs> Eating pupusas every Saturday. <laughs> yes, I think everybody's favorite thing today. Very good. So you already know that, guys, that what is exactly a regular way to use gerunds or ing. And most of the time, guys, we use the verb, right? The verb in ing. Working, studying, playing, swimming, etc. But let me, let me let you know something. Most of the time, we have learned that uh, like a, in, a, in a square thing, right? Subject, verb, etc. right? And we have used gerund as verbs, but today we are going to use the gerunds as two ways. We're going to learn that. I know this is going to be right out of the box because we don't normally do that. Or oh, basically we do, but you don't know it. Uh, and you're going to learn it today. We're going to use gerunds as subjects and we're going to use gerunds as objects which is totally different let me give you an example and then i will share right with you what, what i have prepared okay for this um for today's topic for example let's pretend that you go to a restaurant or you do you go to the uh, to the gas station right let me let me ask you something can you smoke on the gas station no, 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 you can't, right? So there is a bit, there is a bit thing that is like a square, right? A circle, a cigar, and a scratch. That means that it's smoking. We can put that. Let me give you that in the, in the chat. It's smoking. It is not allowed. 
That's what it says, right? Yep. That picture that you see, even though it's a picture, it's a visual thing, but you understand the message, right? Smoking is not allowed. So guys, in this particular sentence that I sent it to you right now in the WhatsApp, uh, who said, Ivan, if you love what to do. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ivan. <laughs> All righty. So in this, guy, in this case, guys, smoking is not allowed. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you identify what is the subject? Smoking. It's smoking. Why? Because I'm talk, I'm using that, and I'm saying that that action, the action of a smoke, is not allowed. It's prohibited. You cannot do it. You got that, guys? May I give you another example? Okay. Um. Listening to music is very relaxing. Okay, I give you another example. What is exactly, what is re, re, very relaxing? What is it? What is the action that is, that is relaxed? In that sentence, listening to music, listening. Listening to music. exactly. Listening to music. So you see, guys, that even though listen is a verb, right, and a smoke yeah. is a verb, but I'm using it ing form, smoking and listening. In those particular sentences, smoking and listening are not making the function of a verb. It is making the function of a subject. You see what I'm talking about? And be careful, with guys, because if you can see in the two in the two sentences, both sentences are in a third person singular. Can you see that? Smoking is not allowed. Listening to music is very relaxing. So guys, when you are using a gerund phrase as a subject, always, always, and always has to be in a third person singular, okay? As a subject, do never, don't use it anything else. You can say, for example, a singing in the shower is the most exciting activity, right? La, da, 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 you see? Uh -huh. For example, uh, can I have another an, an example, Ivan? I just put one in the chat. It says sometimes driving is risky. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That is a good idea, Ivan. But let me, let me clarify something. Very good, Evan. If you're going to use a gerund as a subject, this is the first thing that you gotta put at the beginning of the sentence. So, you, so in this case, it has to be driving is, is sometimes risky, okay. okay? And in that way, you're, you're going to use it gerund as a subject. Can you re rewrite it again? Can you write it, please? Because gerunds has to be at the beginning of the sentence, guys, if you want to use it as a subject. I will give you more examples, okay? Don't worry. Driving is sometimes risky. Very good job. Very good, Ivan. In that case, you are using the ING form as a, not, as a subject. You're trying to clarify that the action of drive is risky. Okay? And before, the sometimes uh, change something or just was wrong grammarly wrong grammarly wrong all right mm -hmm. grammarly wrong yes because uh, why guys because uh, you know what i know uh one student of my previously class asked me um got a teacher can i say drive is sometimes risky no because grammatical is not correct and second of all if we put it the ing form we're making emphasize of the action so it has to be in the ing form, okay? If we're using gerund as a subject. Let me give you another example and you will understand a little bit more. And I also will clarify something that maybe you think about it, okay? I don't know, but I will clarify it for you. Let me share right now my screen. Mm -hmm. There you go. And just let me know if you're able to see it. Are you able to see it, guys? Yep. Yes. Okay, yes. Cool. Yeah. Rafa, can you please be so kind to read for me what would be uh, the topic for today? 
Excuse me, can you repeat me again, please? Yes, what's the topic for today's class? Is there on the slide? Uh, Jeroen phrases as subject and object. Very good. Jeroen phrases as object, uh, subjects and, and, and objects. objects. Excellent job, my man. All right, guys. So the first thing that I want you to see is how, how we construct a Jeroen, right? We already double checked that, but it's really important that I want you to, to see it in... Uh, in a visual thing, you know, we have uh, the verb, in this case it's work, we have the ing, and then if we combine it together, we put it that, the, the gerund, right? In this case it's working, and it could be uh, sometimes uh, make uh, the function of a noun. Let me give you an example here. Okay, take a look at this one, guys. Singular subject, paying our bills is really important. Let me, let me clarify something, because the first thing that you got to do is to identify, guys, um, what is the verb here? Okay, what is the verb here? Is, is that right? Is. is. Very good. Okay. Is it singular or plural? Singular. 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 Okay, so uh, let me ask you, can be, uh, no, I'm going to put this one here. Let me check this one, this one, this, this one. So can I, can be our, the subject of is? Is it, is it true or no? Is it good? Can I use, uh, can, uh, our is the subject, yes or no? I, I didn't listen to you. What you said, sorry? No. No, why not? Because we're using paying a subject. Aha, uh -huh. first of all. And second of all, guys, because is is a singular, right? Yeah, yeah. Or and is our for plural. is plural. Okay, so it cannot be possible. Now do me a favor. Let's double check another one. Let me see. What about bills? It could be the subject of is, yes or no? No. Why not? It's plural. Because of plural, of course. So in this case, guys, it cannot be. So the only one that is last here, in this case, is going to be paying, you see? Because I'm emphasizing of the action of paying my bills. Do you understand now, guys, a little bit much better? Rafa? Grecia? Mariana? No. <laughs> Who didn't understand? I am confused, mm. teacher. Who is confused? Gracia, okay. Why are you confused? Uh, in the in the part of the using the mm -hmm. the complement really important. Uh, always the put after the the verb the, the verb to be. Yes, all the time. Why? Because as I'm, as as I'm saying. All, but if, our bills is other complement. No. In this case, yes. And let me explain to you why. Because, for example, if I'm use, I'm using right now, I know that it's sometimes it's going to be complicated, Grecia, because we have learned to use gerund as a verb, only as a verb. But in this case, yeah. I want to show you guys that you can use it as another way to express different things. Okay, so you can use it in a different way. And I know that I'm teaching you guys something that is out of the box, that you are not used to it. But I want you to understand that it, because it's really easy to do it. For example, you see the gerund, in this case, the gerund is this one, right? Pain, pain. Okay, I'm going to use gerund as a subject. So in this case, the first thing, Grecia, that I had to do is that the ing verb, I'm going to put it at the beginning of the sentence. That is the first thing. If I'm okay. using gerund as a subject, this is one thing. The other thing is that will be always, always and always in third person singular. Because I'm talking about a, that action in general. I can say paying, or also, uh, Grecia, I can say paying bills. Or instead of pay of hour, I can put something like this. Let me give it to you. Let me put it like this way. I can say it, paying the bills is 
really important. Take a look, Grecia. Okay. In this section, um, pain, the action of pain is a singular or plural action. Let me ask you. Pain. Is a singular or plural? It's a singular. It's a singular. So that's why this one belongs to is, right? Because I'm not talking about the bills. I'm talking about the action of paying the bills. You see? Okay. So that's why it's is. You, you got it now? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. It. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Every time that you have a doubt, please feel free to ask. Okay, guys, uh, are you with me right now? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Ah, no. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's the spirit that I need. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Very good. Okay, now that you understood, I want to know that. Can I have an example? As a subject, okay? I haven't moved to an object yes, yet. You can use any verb. You can use playing, you can use pain, you can use working, you can use being, as long as you use third person singular, that's good. For example, uh, let me start with me. Being an English teacher is the most exciting job. Being an English teacher is, is the most exciting job. Okay, now it's your turn. Use any verb. Thank you, Ivan. Go ahead. What? Lear learning English is an abil um, required ability in our time. Very good. Excellent. Oh, my goodness. That is a really deep sentence. Oof. And Bea is like, <laughs> it's your turn, Ivan. <laughs> okay, Bea, now it's your turn. <laughs> yes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. It's just like uh, anything, do, anything. Do, but uh -huh. doing, doing her exercise, doing exercises, uh huh, is the most relaxing thing to do every day. Very good, <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> great job. You see, I was like, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> and you see, I know you could do it. Yeah, congratulations. You see, bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Vane, what about you? Maybe speaking other language is very necessary. Okay, very good. Excellent. That's a really good one. Excellent. Uh, 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 Miguelito, what about you? Uh, it could be eating vegetables is healthy. Very good. Eating vegetables is healthy. That's a really nice example, Miguelito. Very good. Ale, what about you, my man? Um, doing our homework is a very important thing. Ah, okay, hopefully. <laughs> Very good job. Excellent job, my man. Very good. Rafa, what about you? Um, working uh, is the best way you survive. Very good. That's a good one. Excellent. Marianita, what about you? Bravo. Mm. Sleeping early, it's, it's a good habit. <laughs> it's a good habit. Uh, very good. I knew that she's about to give, provide that uh, type of example. I don't know why. I want to sleep. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's the reason why. I could feel it in your tone of voice. But that's good. Excellent. Excellent. Ah, that's why she hasn't returned turn on her camera. You see, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> very good, Marinita. Sonny, what about you? Sonia, hi, how are you, my girl? Sonia, so I think Sh Sonia fall asleep, you know? Mariana gave the example, but Sonia fall asleep. Sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sonia. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Sonia, can I, we have an example, please? 
cooking healthy food is important for the health. Very good, excellent. That was really nice. Okay, so you, if I don't use the health to twice, you can say cooking healthy is really important. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's really important for yourself, you can say, right? Very good, okay. excellent, Sonia, very good. Uh, Mercy, what about you? Can I have an example, please? My dog. My, my dog, dog no. Play. My dog. Remember that is a gerund in the ing form. You have to put the ing at the beginning. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. no. Playing with my dog, for example. Playing my dog with today. <laughs> Playing with your dog, uh huh. Mm, play with the dog. Uh, is? Is a toy today. Oh, it's, it's fun today. Okay, that's cool. Excellent. Very good job. Gracia, what about you? Running every day is healthy for your life. Very good. Excellent job. Juancito, can I have an example, please? Um, mm -hmm. Helping other people is, is um, very important. Very good. Excellent job. An excellent example. Very good. Marielitos, what about you? Hopefully, Marielitos' internet works today. Uh, walking 45 minutes is healthy. Walking 45 minutes is healthy. Very good. Excellent. Hey, guys, congratulations. You have done a really tremendous job. I'm so happy. Yeah, very good. You broke my heart so far. So far. Okay, so now, guys, let me ask you, is it easy? Yeah, yeah, you see Alejandro, yay! So, so far, it, do you understand gerund as a subject? Is that right? Yes, right? Easy peasy quiz. Yes. Okay, now, guys, let me teach you that we can use exactly gerunds, but as an object as well, okay? And it's going to be a difference. Don't fall asleep, Ale. <laughs> ah, no, just this and yeah, that's okay. I know it's, it's really late. I understand that perfectly. So don't worry. <laughs> and you're mentally tired. I know that. But I'm going to like twist your mind a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me show you right now. Now, guys, we're going to continue um, learning. But in this case, we'll be uh, as an object. Okay. But before, guys, I go into that. Um, into that section. Uh, guys, can you see my screen right now? Yes? Yes. Okay, guys. Yes, yes. I want to emphasize something. I don't want you guys to confuse gerunds as a subject with present progressive, okay? Don't confuse it. That's why I gave you an example. Take a look at this first sentence. This is present progressive. I'm paying my bills. Okay, in this case, guys, in this sentence, what word is a subject? I or pain or my? I. I, I very good. That means I. the subject is me, right? The person who's doing the action. And you can see, guys, I'm paying my bills. That means, guys, an action that is happening, right? Because it's present progressive. Hey, what are you doing? I'm paying my bills. And you see, I'm not talking about third person. I'm talking about first person That's singular. Okay. Now take a look at the ing form. You see, in this case, paying is not the subject of the sentence. It is part of the verb. It's the second verb. But in this case, take a look at the sentence. Hey, paying is now anymore on the middle. It is at the beginning of the sentence. You see, that's why it's making the function of subject. So I said paying bills is something important. Do you see the difference? Yes. Yes? Yes. Um, I, I thought I need to clarify that, guys, because I don't want you to confuse, okay? And that means in the second sentence that this action is important, but I'm not telling you that I'm doing this right now. I'm just telling you that that action is important. But in the first sentence, I'm paying my bills. I'm telling you that's what I'm doing right now. You see, that is one of the difference. So let me continue. And let me share right now with you. 
gerunds as objects, guys. There you go. You'll see objects. Hey, is take there, a look. Yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, is it a rule to use always subjects at the beginning of the sentence? What? For what? For anything, for English. Yes, depends on how you're going to use it. For example, uh -huh. that's what I'm teaching you right now, the gerunds. Uh -huh. Because I'm, I'm, I, if you're using a gerund as a subject, for example, you're not going to put I working. No, you're going to put working is blah, 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 blah. But if you're going to, because, and that is what you're doing right now. And it's correct because you're going to use gerund as a subject. That, that is going to substitute I, we, he, you, they. But if you're going to say a sentence or make a sentence in a different way, of course, you got to do it. And, and, and you will see, Ivan, that th there will be another difference, a gerund as an object. I'm going to teach you right now because it will be a really big difference, guys. And I want you guys to take a look at that. There Thank you, you. go. Okay. Hey, do you like my pictures? Yes. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. kitty with a doggy, right? Okay. So do me a favor. Take a look at this set, this sentence. There you go. Okay. Take a look at this one. In this particular sentence, she'd enjoy working with animals. Guys, where is the subject here? Where is it? The beginning. Uh-huh. And what is it? She. 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 Exactly. She. You see? So here, the, the ing form, working, is no longer the subject. It will be in the middle of the sentence. Right, guys? Right after? the main verb you see so in this case guys if you're if you're using gerunds as a subject one thing is that is going to be in the middle of the sentence and second thing is that you can use any other verb remember that it, as a subject you can only use is in a third person do you remember that yes but now as an object you can use it in a different way it has to be in the middle of the sentence and you can use any verb you see I put the bird enjoy. But take a look at the second one. I put the bird to be here. The interested is not a bird. This is another. And you see, guys, that we using another verb as well here. Take a look at this. This is not had, guys. I, this is the mm -hmm. auxiliary verb would, model verb. She would enjoy working with animals. And you see, she would enjoy. Or the second one, I would be interested in learning a new language. You see? It would be. So you see, guys, that the learning, that gerund, it is in the middle of the sentence right after the birth or another. You see, guys, this one? And of course, you can use any type of verb, guys. You can use, I'd be interested, or she would, uh, she would like, or she would love. I can use something else. Let me give you another example. Maybe you will understand a little bit better. Okay. I said, I enjoy working with animals, right? But I can also use another verb, guys. I can say, she, she loves working, working with animals. Do you see, guys, the difference? Do you see it? Yes. You see? Okay. And you said, teacher, why you said she would enjoy? No, enjoys. And you said she loves working. Why you put in the third person this one? Remember, guys, I have to remember you something. When you use an auxiliary, you don't have to modify the second verb, okay? Especially in the third person. That is another rule for model verbs. Do you remember that? Or no? Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's why I'm clarifying that. Okay. Who can give me an example? Grecia, can you give me an example? I teach it. I knew it. <laughs> the other example, teacher. Yes, the example of a gerund as an object, the one that we're looking at right now. Okay. 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 He, Don't get panic, okay? He, mm -hmm. He teach. He teach, huh? He teach. Uh, he teach. 
Are you sure you teach? Mm, remember, no, the that, other part. Uh -huh, remember that you had to no. put another verb before, because it's going to be teaching in this case. So you can use the, the verb enjoy. He would enjoy teaching. Okay, he would enjoy teaching with teaching. the kid, with kids. Teaching kids, very good, excellent, great job. Okay, guys, now I'm going to ask you something. I have an images that I want you to talk about. Hi, right, teacher, yes. You gotta put it in practice. So I'm going to help you with the visual things, okay? I have four images. And I want you guys to do me a favor, to try to make a sentence, um, either sharing as a subject or sharing as an object. But be careful because I can ask one of your classmates to set a sentence uh, as a subject, for example. And I want you guys to pay attention of what exactly that person said because I can ask somebody else that use exactly the same information but create a sentence as an object, okay? So you gotta be careful with me. Hi, sorry. Uh, Rafa, I think your colon will hurt a little bit today. Yeah, think. yeah, yeah, you see? You should <laughs> ask your wife another papaya shake just in case. <laughs> no, I, I, I think I had to, well, I, I already took a medicine. Ah, okay. I took a cetaminophen. Okay. Because I have some fever, but I still ah, feel. It's because of that. Mm -hmm. Because of the same mm -hmm. thing. So maybe I took and maybe I take another one later. Yeah. A more later. Uh, another pill or another papaya shake? No, uh, another uh, medicine. Ah, another pill. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe to, to make you fall asleep a little bit good, right? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah almost, almost Rafa. <laughs> almost Rafa. Two minutes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so let me share right now my screen. Volunteer, volunteer. Mariana, thank you. Go ahead. Oh, teacher. teacher. <laughs> ah, you always ask me. Okay, hey, let me ask you. I want you to see this one. The first picture. Hey, guys, what is that? Is it, I think it's a farmer, right? What do you think? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So do me a favor. Try to make a sentence using the word farmer and German as a subject. You can do it. Mm. You can say working as a farmer, being a farmer. I don't know. German as a subject. Uh huh. German as a subject. That means that the ing form has to be at the beginning of the sentence. Mm. Farmer. Farmer. Um, the gerund, the gerund no, has to be at the beginning. Uh-huh. The gerund at the beginning. I have to add the ing. Uh-huh. So you remember that a gerund in this case, First you add it to the verb, right? So you can say working as a farmer, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do your best. I know you can do it, girl. Working as a farmer can be exciting. Very good. Okay, excellent. Hey, working as a farmer can be excited. Okay, now Miguelito. I I knew it, teacher. Miguelito. Now <laughs> I want you no to use not exactly the same words, right? But the idea. So can can you use can you use the same like almost the same sentence, but I want you to use gerund as an object. Okay. Um, she said working as a farmer can be excited. She said. Ah. So think about this guy. This guy that is a farmer. What do you think he will enjoy to do? For example, I gave you an I gave you an idea. Ah. He would enjoy what? Uh, uh, uh. Um, she work? No. He would enjoy, uh huh. He would enjoy. She she would enjoy. Uh, uh, planting some plants. Be uh, planting some plants. Uh, <laughs> that <laughs> so is planting, redundant, planting, my friend. Uh, uh, planting vegetables. Planting vegetables. Very good. Excellent. Good. Good. Now do me a favor, Ali. Ash. 
<laughs> okay, take a look at the other uh, um, picture that I'm uh, circling. What is that? Uh, uh, like a, a, a doctor, doctor, a nurse. A child. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think she's giving some lollipop, right? Yeah. A candy. Candies. Okay, so do me a favor. Can you please make a sentence with a gerund as a subject using that picture? Um, okay. Um, I will twist your brain, I promise you. <laughs> um, uh -huh. Eating. Um, candies, it's the best part. It visit the doctor. <laughs> ah, very good. Eating the candy is the best part of visiting the doctor. Very good. Okay. Can I also have a similar idea to that, uh, Sonia? Ah, she said, ah, teacher. Or Beatriz, no. Beatriz haven't participated. Beatriz, come on. <laughs> um. Ay. <laughs> or you can use another another sentence, but I want you to use gerund as a subject, as an object, please. I be no, I know oh. because uh, you're you're talking about the nurse or the doctor. Oh, you would what? I don't know, teacher. Yes, you know it. <laughs> Imagine that she is happy, right, with the kids. She loves to to give them, for example, candies and all those stuffs. So, what do you think this doctor would love to do? Or what what she enjoy it? What she enjoy it? Mm. Why she's happy with with who? With adults, with children. Uh -huh. Nurse and be interested. Uh huh. In uh -huh. Uh -huh. go ahead. In, in what? In playing, in working, what? In helping. In, in working uh -huh. with the kids. Very good. You see? Yeah, <laughs> that's my girl. Yeah, you see, you yeah, very good. So she so she would enjoy working with kids. Right? Or imagine if we go so far and we know that that daughter doesn't have kids, for example, right? Let's pretend that. You can say she will she will enjoy being a mother, for example. I don't know. You can use your imagination. Guys, let me ask you, uh, which is harder? Gerunds as a subject or gerund as an object? I would say the now just yeah. right. Yeah, I think it's yeah. because yeah. You, you have to think more, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I taught you that, guys, because we are re uh, regularly just one way to think that gerunds is a verb, and that's the only way that we can use it. No, I had taught you that we can use it in two ways: as an object and as a subject to express uh, the things in a in a different way and in a better way. Okay. So now, guys, you will be able to have more vocabulary and more ways to express yourself in English. We have a variety of ways to say it, and I want you guys to know that, okay? That's why we're okay. teaching you that. Maybe right now it's a little bit hard because it's something that you're not used to it, right? It's like a out of the box. Mm -hmm. But the, maybe you have seen that already. You can say smoking is not allowed or uh, bringing pets is not allowed, for example, right? You said, bringing, that is grammatically incorrect, you say, but no, it is correct. Now you know that you can use gerunds as a subject as well, and as an object. Any question, guys, any doubts? No. <laughs> Are no. you sure? No. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. We're going to do a recap, okay? I will give you more examples. And thank you, Ale, and more, um, <laughs> and we can say more exercises, okay? Okay. Okay, okay guys. Okay. I know it's time to say goodbye, okay? <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Hopefully, you thank have you. a good night, <laughs> good, good night, dinner. Everybody. And hopefully, you feel good much night, better. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.